It's too early for this. Nice looking name to Looking spice latte. Holy crap. That was a long day. Hmm. Yeah, forget this. Oh my god! Okay, I think I need a new uh, tripod, Joby, because look at this thing, man. I almost got wrecked. Alright, let's start the episode. What's up, guys? Welcome back to episode 17. Before I get started, I just want to go and show you guys the exciting day I had before filming this video. So, check it out. So I had a great night. I love visiting Salt Lake. I had sushi, one of my favorite foods ever. I'm in a beautiful hotel, but the best part, I was able to see two of my favorite friends, Jeff and Andrew. Which brings me to today's topic. The best part of being a flight attendant, in my opinion, from my experience. So obviously we get to fly the world for free. That's a huge perk, right? We have some of the most flexible schedules ever. A month ago, I was able to drop and swap some trips in order for me to have two weeks off. Couldn't do that when I was a server, there was no way. Buddy passes. You have friends, you have loved ones, give them a buddy pass so they can travel with you for free. Just pay taxes. <laughs> but the best perk about being a flight attendant, the people you meet. Yes, the best perk for me is the people that I meet. The two that you guys just saw tonight, Andrew and Jeff, lifelong friends. Love them to death. It was so nice catching up with them tonight. Uh, the reason why I didn't film is because you know I haven't seen them for so long. We were catching up, talking about all these different things in, in our separate lives, like what's happening, updating each other on like the biggest news, and just sharing stories. So it's, it's been an amazing night. It was really, really fun. I have friends all over the country now because of this. So the crazy part here is when I was in New York for about just about a year, in that year, I didn't really make that many friends. Not until this summer where my life really just changed because in May, I was highly considering transferring bases to the West Coast in LA and San Francisco. So come June, I fly with this crew, met this person, this friend, and we just became really close friends. We hit it off right away. We flew literally the entire summer together. It was incredible. But from just that one person just gave birth to other friendships that I have now. I made all these friends in New York within a span of let's say three months. Crazy, crazy how that works out. I almost left New York to kind of like start over because I felt like I wasn't making friends. But then summer happened and then I realized that the best part of this job is making friends just because of that one flight where I flew with her. Crazy. So I just want to give a couple of recent examples why I just love meeting new people and making new friendships. So I was working this one flight and I was in the back galley and we had a jump seater. There's this girl that comes in. It was actually Frenchie from a couple episodes. She gets on and man, we hit it off right away. I'm like, this girl is cool. So anyway, I told her about my passion for video and I want to do, um, I have um, ambitions of going professional with my camera and my skills and hopefully monetizing it in the future. So like I showed her a couple examples of my work. She's like, okay, okay. Gave me some tips and advice with uh, video and just life in general. So cool. I see her in Atlanta in my last couple of videos, uh, very briefly, unfortunately, but you know, it's nice to catch up and see her in person. So literally, um, I think it was yesterday, I was in the van and she texts me. She's like, hey, I'm gonna need you to be in Arizona in December or January. I'm like, what, what's happening? Frenchie got me a gig, a, uh, man, I'm, just, I'm so excited talking about this. I forgot, but it's, I think it's a health office. Basically, the doctor wants to do, wants to shoot a how-to video, I think a series, and then also a profile on uh, the doctor, and I think maybe even the staff. Like, I might pitch that to them. It's crazy how that worked out. So, just to recap, I had a jump seater. We cracked jokes, exchanged information, catch up in Atlanta, get a text, she got me a gig in Arizona. All because of that one meeting as a jump seater, and I was just because I said hi, I guess, and cracked jokes. Crazy, 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 crazy. Another one, I'm in Kew Gardens. I'm waiting for the shuttle. I get on the shuttle, there's this other guy that goes in there. We start talking, like, you know, the usual flight tents. Oh, cool, where's your flight? How long is your layover? Oh, that sucks. Oh, man, at least you didn't get Newark, you know? I think it was me or him. Uh, 
Someone said, hey, do you hoop by any chance? Yeah, he said, yeah, man, I hoop. I'm like, oh, dude, we should play ball sometime, man. It should be fun. So we did the thing, we exchanged numbers. Yeah, man, uh, I'll see you around. Shook hands, like, uh, we'll hoop one day, like during the summer, and it'll be fun. Never happened. One random day, I'm in Minneapolis, freaking four hours sit, and I'm sitting there editing a video, and the entrance to the launch is over here, so anyone that comes in can see my screen. He comes in. I'm like, oh, yo, what's going on? What's up, bro? Shook hands, like, oh, man, how you been, blah, blah, blah. And he's like, you editing something? I was like, yeah, bro, uh, you familiar with Final Cut Pro? So I was editing a video. He's like, yeah, yeah, I'm actually a photographer. So he turns out to be a photographer. Showed me his work. Mind blown, this guy's amazing. I'm gonna put his plug right here. A uh, very talented, talented person. And then I start picking his brain, you know, the business side of it, uh, the creative part of it, how to stand out, like, et cetera. It just, he stood there for like maybe 20 minutes or 30, it seemed like two hours of just like spitting knowledge at me, just, and I'm just sitting there like absorbing everything, like, please tell me more. Like, I, I need to learn this business. So literally today, on my way to the hotel in the shuttle, tired as hell, energy's low. I'm just like, need to sleep, but I have so much to do. I got a text from who? Sends me a screenshot. I totally forgot about this. We were talking about an ice cream shop. And the owner is a mutual friend of his. He sent out a video, a sample video that I did. The ice cream owner loved it, thought it was amazing, and wants me to do a promotional video for them. Two gigs in two days came from just me, me being myself. So the gig that I got today started off with, what's up, do you hoop? Let's hoop, we don't hoop. See him randomly in Minneapolis, of all places. Find out we're both creatives. Boom, my man gets me a gig. And we still have to find a date, but I'm gonna be shooting with him. It's incredible, it's incredible. The people you meet with this job, they can help you out just like that. Out of the kindness of their hearts, they will help you out. You will find people who have met their boyfriends, their girlfriends, their significant others, their wives, husbands, whatever, through this job. One of my best friends, Sarah, Detroit-based, met her through this job. Always, man, I love you. The, the type of friendships and relationships that you form with these people just because they know the type of, the type of crap that you go through and that just brings you closer you know it's that's just how life is and that's the reason why for me the biggest perk with this job is meeting all types of people from all walks of life coming together with the interest of flying the world as flight attendants or pilots and just having fun while doing it all. And I'm so excited to meet some more of you guys. If you're watching this and you're a flight attendant and we've yet to fly together, I know we will one day and I'm very excited to meet you. For those of you who have already met and were friends and even if we're not that close of friends yet, I will be happy to hang out. Let's get some sushi. Let's shoot some pictures, some, make some videos. Hook me up to some of your business owners. I want to work with trendy restaurants. Now I'm just trying to get a plug here. <laughs> Anyways, that's just what I wanted to talk about today. I love meeting new people. This job is a perfect marriage for that. Because you just never know who's gonna come into your life and absolutely change everything. All because of one play. Guys, thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed this video. It's a little bit more story type of thing and getting into my brain about the flight attendant lifestyle. If you guys enjoy this, I know I, the last video I did the story time, I got some pretty good feedback. If you guys enjoyed this type of video, I'll, I'll keep doing these type of videos. And yeah, go from there. I mean, that's still part of a vlog, I feel like, because it's part of my day. And I'd be happy to do that. Again, if you guys need any help at all, if you're an aspiring flight attendant and you happen to run across this video, please hit me up, shoot me a DM. It's Johnny Bay X. I'll link it in my whatever the thing is down below and also on my Facebook, Instagram, blah, 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 Twitter too. Shoot me a message asking for help, any questions, I'll be happy to help you out, even here on YouTube. But that being said, thank you so much for watching. Have a good morning, good night, good evening, wherever you are in the world watching this. Thank you for tuning in and remember to always fail forward, my friends. I don't do a thumbs up. Why did I just do a thumbs up? See you guys later. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>